Hi, I'm Elizabeth Townsend Gard um, from Just Want a Quilt, a research podcast coming out of Tulane University Law School. Today we have a video, a video, um, and we're doing a sew along, a sew along where Gigi Bai will be leading us through Jen Kingwell's The Gypsy Wife Quilt, which is awesome. Um, so these are videos that Gigi will produce um, and help us understand how to do it. And Corey Dutton, um, a law student, is going to learn to quilt. So um, it's for beginners, advanced people, even law students. Um, and it will be great. So uh, I hope this helps. So where do you find the pattern? Um, Jen Kinkwell's pattern can be found at Amazon. It's again called the Gypsy Wife Quilt. It's super popular. You can also get it at Uptown Needle and Craftworks here in New Orleans. Just um, look them up online and call them or at any quilt shop. So get the pattern and join us. Hi guys, we're ready for Hope for Hartford um, from Hartford in Section 9. And it is going to be one that we have to cut the pieces for. It's on page 9. Um, and I've already had cut what they required us to do. So I laid out I, J, K, and L. Um, in the picture, it, the directions say cut the triangles and the rectangles all from K, but in the picture they drew it as if it was two different fabrics. It's up to you if you want to do your rectangles in another fabric other than the way the triangles are. I kept them the same because I find it gets really busy really quickly if I don't. Okay, so now we're going to take, the very first thing we do is we take a J and a K triangle um, and put them together right sides together so that we can sew them up along like remember how we said before it shaped like an L when it shaped like an L like that we're going to sew along here so when we open it up it will look like a mountain top like that okay and that will go on the other side of the eye piece so they'll be put together. I'm not sure I'm loving my colors together now that I'm looking at them like this. So if you see me change colors, it's just because I decided I didn't like it. But these are already cut and I'm really ready to be done. So it may just stay just the way it is. So I'm going to go ahead and pin these together so I can remember which side I'm going to sew and get J and K put together first. So I have all my little mountains put together with my triangles and now I'm ready to put them together with the bigger triangles from uh, fabric I. So I'll sew, I'll put them together set like that and then I'll sew them along this line and then when I flip it up it's going to make a square. So we'll have a half square triangle on one side and a big triangle on the other side. Okay, so that's what we're going to do with all four of the big triangles you made and the mountains that we put together just now. And I would pin them just so that they don't move when you're going to sew. Okay. Okay, so now we have our triangles all sewn together and we're going to take the rectangle and you attach it to the edge of where um, that fabric K already is. So your rectangle goes on the same, it's going to be sewn on just like that on each piece um, and then it'll rotate around as it's placed into the block. So I'm just putting them face down and right sides together, stitching my quarter inch along here on each one of these with my rectangles. Okay, and then you're going to lay out your pieces just as so once you get them all sewn together with your center piece that was actually the last piece you cut, piece L, and you're going to put it in the center and you'll see how they kind of overlap on each other this way. When I go to sew this, I'm only going to sew up to a certain point and then I'm going to leave it open so that I can sew the rest of the pieces on then I'll go back and close it up. Let me see if I can do that for you so you can see it. Okay, so you can see I left it open here about a half of an inch. I'm now taking my last piece, I pinned it on and I will sew it across here first then I'll be able to put these edges together and sew it up from the little space from here to the top. So I'm going to go stitch it down a quarter of an inch right here. I made sure to pull this down and get it all the way over to my edge over here so that I can do this seam and then I'll go back and do the other. 
So now I just have one seam left to sew. I've got this is sewn on right here. But so now I just need to put these right sides together and go back and finish up. So I had sewn up to about right there. That's the one little opening that I had left, and then I have this whole side to do. When I get that sewn on, the block will be done. Okay, and so there it is, our finished product for Hope from Hartford, or Hope for Hartford, or what is it called? Hope from Hartford. And um, that's a block that we made for section nine. And at first I wasn't sure I was gonna like my colors, but I kind of like it the way it's turned out. I'm gonna cut a few threads off, and I hope you all are successful with yours. I'm loving mine. This is Elizabeth Townsend Guard from Just Wanna Quilt. You've been listening to Gigi Bai take us through an aspect of the Gypsy Wife Quilt by Jen Kingwell. Make sure you get the pattern. You can get the pattern at Amazon or Uptown Needle and Craft Works here in New Orleans or at your local quilt shop. Um, you need the pattern to be able to understand what's going on. And then um, Gigi helps us through it. So join us. Come play with us. Come to our Facebook group, Just Want a Quilt. Uh, go to our website and be part of our newsletter where we'll help you through the Gypsy Wife quilt. Um, that's justwantaquilt.com spelled W-A-N-N-A Just Want a Quilt. Um, and of course, listen to our podcast. It's available on iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, and if you can't a chance to like it on those, it would be super awesome. <laughs>